Hi guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. Um, I want to cover with you guys how you can add text to a photo. Um, you could also do this if you were creating a business card, um, if you want to make your logo, uh, brochures, posters, anything like that. Um, ideally, you would probably work in Adobe Illustrator to do a lot of the graphic design type things. Um, but there are a lot of cases where you do want to add text onto a photo itself, um, which is what I am going to cover. So um, in order to add text, the text tool is um, about two thirds of the way down on the left here. It's the letter T. Um, you just want to make sure that one's selected. You want to be certain that the horizontal type tool is the one that is um, the one you're on. You can just drag out a little box wherever you want the text to go. Um, you can type directly on, I can't type and um, type and talk at the same time here. Tutorials, there we go. And you'll notice that um, some of my text is missing. That's just because it was too large for the bounding box that I um, pulled out here. So if I make that larger, you can see there the rest of the text. Um, from here, you can edit the text several different ways. You can change the color. Um, you wanna make sure that it's still selected. So if I highlight all of these, and let's say I wanna do a color that matches her dress, um, you can use the eyedropper tool, which we get more in depth with that in another tutorial. But if I click on you know whatever, color here. I like that one. That shows up well. You don't want to go, you know, too dark that you can't see it against the background. The brown of her hair, I don't really care for for this. So I'm trying to find a light color, purple. There we go. Um, and just hit OK. So now I have a color here that I like. If I wanted to change the size of it, um, right up here on the menu at the top, you'll see the font. Um, some of the fonts, depending on if they are a, um, a default font that comes with Photoshop, um, usually you have the option to change it to italic, bold, um, sometimes there are some other options under there. The size is here. You can also adjust um, the alignment. So I want this to be on the left, so it kind of flows this way. A lot of times when I'm making like thumbnails for my videos, um, if the subject is kind of off to the left, I'll put the text on the right side and I usually put the alignment to the left, um, or I'm sorry, to the right on um, this particular one. I want it on the left side here. If I want to change the font, um, I'm going to select one from here. I use this one a lot, this brain catcher. Um, I downloaded that from defont.com. I'm going to include a link here. Um, on the video if you want to visit their site. It's amazing the amount of different fonts that they have available and they are so super easy to load onto your computer. Um, and I'm also going to include another tutorial linked here as well um, that shows you how to load fonts onto um, Photoshop. And the nice thing is when you load them onto your computer, you can use them in any program. So if you have Microsoft Word, um, PowerPoint, whatever you're using them in, Photoshop, that font is there for you to use. Um, okay, so I have my text on here. Let's make it a little bit um, bigger just because. If you want to go even larger than the 72 that's here, you can just select up here at the top and type in an amount. Um, the other thing, so spacing, sometimes that gets me, I will make um, ads for mini sessions that we do or if we're running a sale and when I'm using certain text, um, I can do one of two things. I can just create a new layer if I want this row of words or this word to be closer to this one. The other thing you can do is um, adjust it under the paragraph here um, and go to the character. This will allow you to adjust spacing. You'll also see your, um, your font adjustments are here as well. So to change the size, the font, type, all of that. 
Um, but the spacing comes here. So if I want, you can see it has the little arrow, the vertical arrow. Um, if I want the words to be closer together, I'm just going to pick something. Obviously, that's way too close. Um, that one's too close. So let's do 100. So that scoots them a little bit closer together. Um, so you can see this is this is what it normally is. And then I went to 100. So they're a little bit closer together. Now let's say you want to scoot the letters themselves apart or closer together. Um, by default, it should be at zero and this is what it would be. If I want them closer together, I would do a negative number. So it scoots them closer or farther apart like this. Um, again, it's completely your preference. It's gonna depend on what you are putting the text on, things like that. Um, so the only other thing I'm gonna cover right now, there are a lot of things that you can do with the font. Um, so you can even see here, you can add the bold, italics, all of that. Um, there are some other things you can do as far as, um, oh, I don't like that. Um, blending options, let me get back off of that. Um, so if you wanted your font to have like a drop shadow, when the text layer is selected, if you right click and go to blending options, you're gonna see this screen pop up. Um, I'm not gonna get too in depth with this, but just know that if you kind of mess around with these different ones in here, um, there are you can see now it has a drop shadow. If you click on that, what you just selected, drop shadow. So there's outer glow if you wanted that, um, inner glow. There's a million different things to make your, your font look more three-dimensional. Um, but when you click on the one that you've selected, there are options here. So if you like a drop shadow, but you don't want it to be as dark, you can lower that opacity. So you can see it's you don't see it at all. And as I raise it up, it gets darker and darker. Um, so there's different things you can do there with the blending options. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to show you is um, kind of changing the, the direction of your font. So if I wanted to move this um, font, right now I am still on the text tool. Um, I would click on the selection tool and I can move it wherever I want it to go if I wanted to rotate it. So if I want it to be at an angle, if you bring up your transform tool, which again, there's another tutorial, I'm gonna link here to how to use the transform tool. But remember, just hit Control T or Command T if you're on a Mac computer. Um, and you'll see the little um, curved arrow. And if you just turn it, you can spin it however you want. Um, from here, I could stretch it if I wanted. If I right click, I can warp it. Um, there we go. Uh, so you can skew it, warp it, you can do any of those things that you want to make it fit the, um, the area that you're trying to put your text. Um, so that's pretty much it for now. I'm not gonna get crazy in depth with text. Um, we would get into that more with a um, an Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.